Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I just got off of work. I'm just going to do a little quick update on the portfolio. This is the damages that have been done today. My portfolio is down to $35,952, down 13.58% today and up about, up about 1% after hours. But look at the damages basically. The highest point being to 43000 on the graph all the way down to about here and I, you see a 18 percent uh loss uh, down 8140 bucks um just massive um uh, losses on the portfolio though it really doesn't bother me though like really i could really care less i'm a, I'm a long-term investor but look at the um, option plays down four percent on this one i'm still up significantly on this option play it's a long-term option play for neo i believe neo is going to do very well into the future um, then we have Afria. I'm still up 222%, but I was up almost 500% on this one um, before it uh, corrected downwards. Then Dropbox, I'm up 40% on this one. Long, All three of these are long-term. Expire January 20th, 2023. Now let's go on to my holdings, NEO. Today, down 1.37%, but I'm still up in the long run of 18.7%. Then Afria, the one that you've all been waiting for. I was down 33% today, but I'm still up 131% in the long run. My average cost is a nice average cost. If I did have a little bit more money, I would have bought <clears throat> or I would have done, um, I probably would have done a option sell, uh, a put option. And I probably would have done something down all the way down to like about 13 bucks. I would have done probably 10 of them if I had the money, but you know, I don't and it's okay. But then we go on to Shopify, which was probably the only one that was in the green, and it was barely in the green, if anything. Um, still up 30% on this baby. Jumia, down also 4%, down about $195, still up 56% in the long run. I really want to get more of a position to this one. I want to put more money into Jumia. I want to get this one up to 100 shares. Corsair Gaming, I'm up 9% on this one. Same thing, I want to get the 100 shares on this. And then MP material, same thing. I want to get 100 shares, I'm getting close to it. I'm up, uh, still up $248 in the long run. Tesla, up 69%, still doing pretty well on Tesla, up $1,117. Dropbox, I'm up 13%, up $288 still. Beyond Meat, I'm up 35%, up $246.82. And IIPR, I'm up 16%, up. $16.73 so you can see here total return I'm basically up on every single position so far so I'm really not stressing about it um, today would have been a wonderful day to buy some of these stocks if you didn't buy anything if you don't have a good position in it and you want to start positions today was a good one maybe tomorrow will be also be another red day so stay tuned for that I really don't know how Africa is gonna react tomorrow maybe you could drop a little bit more never know I could probably go down all the way to 12 bucks, maybe. Or I can start doing a little bounce back recovery slowly. We don't know, right? We just don't know. But in the long run, Africa, Africa will do very well with their merger with Tilray. They'll be a beast. I think they'll be a top five, if not top three company in the cannabis space. And the cannabis industry will be big and they'll be dominating in that space. So for me, I'm just holding on to all of these. If once I can get my taxes from my all my documents from Robinhood, and do my taxes anything after that i'll be able to start depositing more money into my robin hood to start to get to closer to 50k which is the goal for this year and we were really close to doing it we were i think at one point we were up to forty four thousand dollars, and it dropped down but it's okay it's okay we still have quite a ways away for this year to end so the goal for me was 50k if not more and then if we can get closer to 50k by the end of the year and then next year will be 100k and then 250,000 and so on and so forth so anything above 50k will be a win by the end of the year and i'm doing these goals for realistic goals 100k would be basically a 300 per or 100 percent 200 percent gain from now which would be pretty tough to do possible but most unlikely and i'm trying to make these goals realistic for me but as long as the, there's, there's no crash, I think we would be easily able to get to 50K. That's the goal. 
that's what we're striving for. Hopefully, you guys are going to be able to beat your goals as well. And hopefully, you guys didn't do any panic song or anything because we're here. I'm a long-term investor, and this really doesn't phase me. So hopefully, you guys did better than me today because today I just got wrecked. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another update.